Hi everybody, it's Debbie. I'm here with another design team project for Artsology. Today I'm using her Garden Beauty kit in my journal. The journal is five and a quarter by nine. There's a two inch spine. Um, it's a hidden spine. I don't know why I did a hidden spine when I always put lace down here, but I've got this rosette trim that's been coffee dyed here. I used wallpaper, um, I believe it's a, an old big envelope that I used, but it's got wallpaper on the front and on the inside, and then I used her image on the front as well. I did some beeswax, like uh, Lori from Girl on the Ridge does. I made a flower out of a doily and a couple different laces. The closure is Sari Silk with lace, and I put a flat back gem there. And then there's another image on the back from the kit. And you can see the wallpaper peeking out a little bit here. <coughs> I have my Chunky Charm. So let's go in. It's really chunky. It's uh, quite large, you can see. <laughs> There's two signatures, just two signatures. But um, there's 21 sheets, so there's 84 pages, but there's lots of tags and bags and tuck spots and pockets all through here. So I've got a pocket in here. And I've used a lot of quotes, and the quotes that I'm using came from Poppiness on um, Etsy, and this is her Nature Quotes kit. I've also done a lot of stamping. Here's one of the little mini booklets. And I've included a note from the bookmaker that I got from... I'll have to check that and put, put it up on the screen. Anyway, this is if you're um, going to be giving a journal to somebody who doesn't know what they are. This explains what it's for, what you can do with it. There's some small rosette trim down here to hide the um, spine from the hidden spine. And this little booklet has a glassine bag with a tag in there. And stamped ladybug. Did some fussy cutting from some of the images from the kit. This is a large envelope that I sewed in the signature and this tag comes out. You have a tuck there, there's some gesso. I also used a lot of papers from this old book I found at the thrift store uh, called The Gardener and I thought it was perfect for this Garden Beauties kit. Um, but I did gesso so that you can still write over that. And then another garden quote. This flips out. There's a tuck there. And this has a, an envelope on it that I did some staining with um, Distress Oxide. And a little file folder that's in the kit. And then when I glued this onto the page, made another little tuck spot there. And there's a flip with some lace. I don't know what I'm going to do. I used the last of it in this journal and I love this lace. I'm going to have to find more. And glassine bag. All the glassine bags and envelopes I get from J9 Scraps on Etsy. There's 
a tag. It's got a little tuck spot. I use these are look are supposed to be book corners, but I use them as tuck spots or embellishments throughout the journal. A lot of uh, beeswax on there too with the layering. And this is, um, I used some of my eco dyed papers that I made a couple years ago. And, I, and this is a hidden paper clip that is holding on a larger file folder. And here's a Rita Donnelly flip and I have it, I just did it double so that there's lots of journaling spot and the tuck spot in behind. And a bag with another large sheet of paper. Lots of journaling. This is a belly band, it comes in the kit like this. And this is just some paper that I've done some stamping and washi tape. Another tag with uh, a quote, beeswax, some more distress oxide inks, and a mini file folder. In the center of the signature, I've got a bird and an owl charm on the strings. And here's some journaling paper. And this bag flips open. And it's got a bag on the tag. And more quotes. I'll flip down. This is a flip down as well. And this envelope is um, flips back and there's a couple journey, journaling tags in there. And then this side of the envelope is the tuck spot. And there's a tuck spot. And these were tabs. I did print out tabs small and I'm using them, but the bigger one, I print them out in a bigger size and cut the ends off and have a little teeny booklets there. There's a file folder. Such a pretty kit. I really love it. Here's another altered paper clip. Look at that flat back birdie on there. Really pretty. And this is just leftover paper. A tuck spot. And here's a paper clip with a bead on it. more gessoed paper. Did a lot of sewing here too. That's another belly band. A flip up. The, uh, this is just some um, tea dyed muslin that I stamped on. And this is a mini booklet with a bunch of journaling pages in there. And that's the end of the first signature. Now with the book, 
you get a writing board but it can also serve as a bookmark so say you're writing in here and you write down there you put it behind and then you'll know where you left off and you can just pick it up next time I just did some decoupaging on there a little bit because it is so chunky and there are some spots that are kind of um, bumpy so I included a writing board not beautiful love the colors another little mini booklet with writing spots more oxide inks another belly band more beeswax and again an echo one of the eco dyed pages from a while back another flip up another Rita Donnelly flip a bit bigger And this is a copy of a page that I found in that gardening book that I'm using throughout here. And I don't know when this was written, but the prices are just amazing. I wish I could be shopping for gardening supplies using this price list. Lavender plant, 20, 25 cents. <laughs> My gosh. Tuber's begonias, 12 for a dollar. Unheard of. You wouldn't get that these days. So I just made a copy of it and clipped it onto that paper clip. This altered paper clip here is holding in a large file folder. As well as the price list. And it's got a tassel on there. Love the birds. This is another altered paper clip holding on a piece of paper, scrap paper. And these strings in the middle of the signature have another bird and swans in love yeah so there is lots of journaling spots just some layering with some leftovers Lots of, yeah, and lots of tags, lots of secret spots. Another flip.
Here's another little booklet. These um, booklets were made out of, um, I had printed extra belly bands and I use them as cover for mini booklet. I think they're cute. Another paper clip with a file folder. This one is not a tuck spot, it's glued down. Just a bit of layering for embellishment. <laughs> and there's another tag in there. All right, and this bag flips open so you can journal on the back and in here. Another tuck spot, and this is the back. And there's, um, I have Deb's Artsology Garden Beauty um, with her website down here, handmade by Debbie, sewn on some muslin and music paper. And that's it, lace down there to hide the hidden spine. So this journal is a design team project for Deb at Artsology. Oh, I will put the link to her uh, shop in the description box down below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we will talk to you real soon. Bye.